Uh, okay, Kathleen, I have a, a, I have a challenge here uh, for uh, Kathleen. Yes. Top 10 cats. I'm going to give you two minutes to name your top 10 cats. All right. Uh, my, my number 10 cat, Bill the Cat. Okay. From Bloom County. Do you want to give like a very, very brief reason why? Uh, because he's in Bloom County and Bloom County is funny. All right. Uh, my number nine cat, Pusheen, because there's all those cute Pusheen uh, stickers that you can send on Facebook Messenger. Very cute. Pusheen at nine? Pusheen, yes. Wow. Oh, well. All right. All right. Number eight is the Neko Atsumi cat that's looking at that you, whose butthole you can see. That is <laughs> 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 number eight cat, because you can see his cute little butthole. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Number seven cat. Uh, number seven is Garfield, but only the Garfield from Garfield without Garfield. <laughs> so the invisible Garfield, where it just exposes how sad and depressing John's life is. Uh, that's my number seven pick for top cat. Uh, let's see. Number six is... What's Gargamel's cat's name? Azrael. Azrael. Azrael is my tip, tip, top pick for number six cat, because I just really want Azrael to finally eat a Smurf. I think that's all he wants in life, and that's what I want for him, too. Uh, my number five cat... Is is my my friend uh, Adam and Lindsay's cat Victoria? She's very oh, cute. Victoria's good. Victoria's a good cat. My number four cat is MySpace, who is like <laughs> the f- the the friendliest cat, but she's also like. Rah! She's got a smoker cat now. Yeah, she yeah. she she's she's lived a hard life of being cuddled and sleeping. I tell you what. Uh, let's see. My number three cat is uh, Annika, who was my cat for many years, but he passed away at the age of thirteen. It was very sad. Uh, my number two cat is Baxter, who is the sweetest, fluffiest baby kitten. And my number one top cat is uh, Catherine, who I have raised from a kitten. And he is 15 now, and he's a little bastard. He's a horrible, he's a horrible S-bus. Uh, like, he, like, he comes up to you and he's like, hey, I really need you to pet me. And it's like, I'm trying to get a baby to sleep. He's like, what if I put my claws into the baby's head? And it's like, I will murder you, cat. But he is a little bastard and he's mine. So that's my number one cat. America's Next Top Cat. Um, I remember after when Kate stayed at my place, she said that uh, my cat uh, Atlas was like, "Yeah, that's his butthole. Him. Good job." <laughs> <laughs> um, he was like, she was saying that that Atlas was like Annika reincarnated because it's like the black fluffy, super sweet cat. I know. Every every black fluffy cat I've met has had that same exact personality. Actually, to, to be honest with you, like, Annika, for the first many years of his life, was a real horrible bastard as well. Oh, really? uh, he was the worst. Like, he would lie on his back, and then he'd be like, oh, you want a pet? And even if you didn't go anywhere near his stomach, he'd, like, spring on you like a bear trap, and he'd just close around your arm and start biting and bunny kicking. He was a real, he was, he was an awful, awful mean-spirited cat. And then all of a sudden, he just, like, had an abrupt personality flip, and it was great. I think he may have had a stroke, but he was much better afterwards. 